I'm Ross with Battery Backup Power. Today we'll discuss how to estimate an approximate backup time for a particular device on backup power, such as a desktop computer, laptop computer, router, modem, or anything else that consumes electricity. For that, I have two props, the first being a desktop computer power supply, and the second being a laptop computer power supply. So first things first, I need to figure out how many watts I'm going to consume maximum from my desktop computer. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and I'm going to use the input power, not the output power. Uh, a lot of people get confused on this. I want the input power because that's the power that's going to be consumed or the load that's going to be placed on the UPS that's going to support this. So the input is what we want of the electronic device. Here it shows that the input power is 100 to 127 volts AC at 10 amps. So let's go ahead and pull up a calculator and convert that volts and amps to watts. Now it says 100 to 127 volts AC. I always use 120 no matter what. It might say 110, it might say 115, it might give you a range. I always use 120 to play it safe. So I'll do 120 volts AC times 10 amps, creates a maximum load of 1200 watts. So the next thing I'm going to do, now that I know what my maximum load is, is I'm going to go ahead and go to BackupBatteryPower.com. The company name is BatteryBackupPower.com, but the website that has the calculator for this is on BackupBatteryPower.com. I'm going to go ahead and go to the home page, click the giant Calculate Backup Time button, and go to the calculators page. There's two calculators uh, for this and 90% of users are they're going to use the first calculator. It's really easy to use and it takes into account variables such as the operation uh, watt load created by the UPS itself, uh, harmonics and some other variables. The second calculator is more advanced if you know your power factor, batteries, voltage, amp hour rating uh, and watts consumed. So for this we're going to use calculator number one. I'm going to go ahead and enter my 1200 watts. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out all the UPS systems or battery backup systems that are too small to support a 1200 watt load. They're rated by VA or KVA and then secondary you'll see a watt. So in some, some instances you'll see a 1000 VA slash 700 watts. The watt section is what you want to look out for, and you want to make sure that the watt rating of the UPS exceeds by at least 10% the watt load that you're going to put on that UPS. So I can't use this one. It's a 500 watt lithium UPS, so it's way too small to support 1200 watts, even though it's going to give me a run time. Um, and then I'm going to go down here, 360, can't use that one, can't use that one. This one is a one-to-one -one ratio. I don't have enough safety capacity uh, margin uh, to run this, so I'm going to throw that one out. I'm going to keep going down. And 1,400 watts. Let's just run a quick calculation. So 1,200 times 1 1.1, which is 10%, 1,320. Now, this is the absolute minimum. Most people recommend a 20 or 30% margin. Uh, but for this instance, we're just doing a quick calculation. So 1320 is underneath 1400 watts. This is a safety margin. So we're still going to leave our 1200 watts because we're not really consuming 1320. We just wanted a safety margin. So this first unit right here that meets our capacity requirements or gives us 10 minutes and 39 seconds of backup power, approximately. Now for this project, let's say I need 30 minutes minimum for this desktop computer to operate because it's running some critical security application or something similar. Well, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to option two. It's the same UPS, but it has the UPS plus one extra external battery pack. That gives me 31 minutes, 56 seconds. That's cutting it close. So, you know, I might bump it up to the third option available on this particular model, which gives me UPS plus two extra external battery packs. So if that's about 53 minutes, I can support this 1200 watt load. I uh, found what I want, so I'm going to go ahead and open that link, and it shows me exactly what it is. In this case, it's a controlling UPS with two extra external battery packs that just snap onto the back, and so the UPS uses the battery power for itself and these two battery packs to support that 1200 watt load 
for 53 minutes. Secondly, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to add a laptop to that load. So I have my laptop power supply. Let's see if you can see the input on it. Focus here. If you can't, I'll go ahead and read it to you. This Dell laptop power supply has an input of 100 VAC to 127 VAC at 1.5 amps. So to calculate that, let's go back here. Pull up our trusty calculator. And do 120 times 1.5. That's 180 watts. So if I wanted to run this on a UPS, it's a laptop, it uses much less power. I'm going to plug in 180 watts. Now I can use any UPS available if I just want to float this 180 watt load. I can use this lithium unit. It'll support this laptop for approximately 43 minutes. Let's just check this sucker out. So this is what it looks like if I wanted to get this lithium unit. But I'm going to use a stationary standard lead acid UPS. So let's go ahead and select this guy. This is a 900 watt UPS, so it more than exceeds uh, 20 or 30 percent safety margin uh, for this load. And it's going to give me, with UPS by itself, a 35 minute backup time. If I wanted to expand that, I could go to one battery pack or two battery packs and get two hour, up to two hours and 57 minutes. And I could keep going down the list, and it could keep giving me updated uh, backup time. So this unit would be a UPS at 1050 watt. UPS by itself, based on the load, the battery loadout, will float this laptop for 38 minutes and two seconds. If I wanted to run it pretty much, you know, half the day, I could use this option. This is one battery pack. This is two battery packs. Open this up, and this is what that would look like. A central UPS with two external battery packs and so that system would run this laptop for approximately three hours and ten minutes. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.